Yo, what is up guys? It's Accept here and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be making another Civilization 5 video and today we're gonna be making a unit tier list. So I actually made a video like this five years ago, but that was obviously five years ago so it's a bit outdated and it was a top five unit tier list. Today we're gonna be making a top 10 unit tier list. Uh, so yeah, let's just get straight into it and I hope you enjoyed the video. So for my number 10 spot, I have Rome's Legionary. I think this is a pretty underrated unit myself. It gains 3 plus combat strength instead of... so 17 instead of 14 uh, compared to the Swordsman which it replaces. And usually the Swordsman's counter is a Pikeman. And since this gains plus 3 combat strength, it actually doesn't even get countered by the Pikeman. It's equally strong as the Pikeman. So it's obviously really good unit and also on top of that you can build forts and roads with it and forts and roads in my opinion are pretty underrated especially in warfare the movement speed and the combat strength defense bonus from forts are both really good so you should be utilizing that a lot when playing as Rome. For the number 9 spot I have the English longbow this unit gets plus 1 range so 3 range compared to 2 instead of the crossbowman which it replaces and crossbowman is obviously one of the strongest units in the game, so getting plus one range on that is obviously really good. I mean, it's a crossbowman replacement that gets plus one range. It's really broken. I mean, it's really hard to play against, and it's really easy to take cities with it. So this is for sure one of the strongest units in the game, no doubt. For the number eight spot, I have the Honey Horse Archer. This might come as a surprise to a lot of you guys, but I think this is a pretty good unit. It's very mobile, it's a very strong unit, and it starts with the accuracy promotion. Now, this is a chariot replacement, so in a single player, this isn't as strong as of a unit as it would be in multiplayer, but I do think this unit is very strong and it can definitely conquer the map a lot of the times. It's a very hard unit to play against, and yeah, all around, it's a really good unit. The only problem of course with the Honey Horse Archer is that it upgrades into a knight, so a lot of the time you won't want to upgrade it even, you will just run around with a bunch of horse archers, which obviously after a while will get obsolete. At rank number 7 comes in the shiny Shukunu. I think this is a really powerful unit, once again a crossbowman replacement, and it's a bit weaker than the crossbowman, but it can fire twice. The only problem with this unit is that it can't combo up with logistics, so if you do get a lot of promotions on it, it will actually just be a debuff instead of a crossbowman, but otherwise a really powerful unit, and yeah, it's really powerful, especially in multiplayer where you won't be promotion stacking. You will basically just have two crossbowmen instead of one. The next unit I have on this list is the Persian Immortal. Now, at my last tier list, I actually had this unit at number 4. But since then, I've reconsidered this unit and I do still think it's really strong. The double heal which it gets is just incredibly powerful. But in my opinion, the Spearman unit isn't that strong, and also Ancient Era special units or unique units aren't usually that great, unless it's like a really powerful one. This is a powerful one, and it will be really great if you can upgrade it into Pikeman, but the truth is, I just don't like Spearman that much. I do think it's a good unit, and that's why it makes number 6. The double heal is really strong. It's of course great that it gets plus 1 combat strength, but I do not think this is as strong as some of the other units that we have above it on this list. Coming in at the number 5 spot I have the Zulu Impi. Now usually I don't like pikemen or spearmen replaces that much but I do think this is a really powerful unit especially since it doesn't upgrade into a lancer which is the normal problem with spearmen but it upgrades into a rifleman. Now this unit obviously gets the spear throw which is an incredible powerful attacking promotion. It's like you just damage the enemy unit before you attack it. It's just really powerful. And then also it gets Incanda upgrades which are really good upgrades and only the Zulu spear units can get it. So you can't actually get it in Rifleman but it will stick to the Rifleman promotions later on. It gives some things like extra movement speed, extra combat strength, extra flanking bonus. It's a really good powerful unit and I had this at my number 5 spot last time as well. I think what's stopping this unit is from getting higher, it's just that it's a melee unit and it's just not as strong as some of the other units above, but otherwise it's a real powerful unit, maybe the strongest melee unit in the entire game. Now I did say that I think Impi might be the strongest melee unit in the entire game, but here at the number 4 spot we also have a melee unit, it's the Hunnic Battering Ram. Now the Hunnic Battering Ram is technically a siege unit as well, but it is a melee siege unit. Now what's so powerful about this unit is that it can 
solo cities in the early game. It's a spearman replacement, which I don't usually like, but what's really great about it is that you can get it in a promotion from ruins, and then you can just go in and solo cities. It usually takes two shots, and there's really not a lot of problem in taking cities with this. If you just find another civilization or city state in the early game after getting a battle ram promotion, you will just wipe them out straight away from the start. It's just so powerful, and it can make you have really good starts as the Huns. Coming in at the number 3 spot, I have the Mongolian Keshek. Now, this is one of the most powerful units in the game. It's a pretty much hit and run unit replacing the knight. So, what's so powerful about it is that you can walk in, fire a shot, and then walk out again. It's so powerful, and it's kind of like the same strength as a crossbowman if the crossbowman was pretty much invulnerable. Now, it also gains extra experience, and it's also a mounted unit, so it's really quick. So it's just a really powerful unit and with this unit you could pretty much take over the entire world on DT without much problem if you just spam a few of these units. Coming in at the number 2 position, I have the second English unit on this list, the Ship of the Lion. Now I usually like to say that frigates are naval crossbowmen. Now imagine if a crossbowman had plus 10 ranged combat strength, that's pretty much what the Ship of the Lion is. It's such a powerful unit, I don't know how to explain it, it's just like, if it, was, it wasn't a naval unit, it would probably be the strongest unit in the entire game, but the thing is you can counter it by just not settling coastal cities. If you play with England in the game, don't settle coastal, okay? They will Ship of the Lion you and you will die, because there's no counter counter to it. Anyways, just one of the most powerful units in the entire game, and yeah, let's move on to the number one spot. Now I don't think this will come as a surprise to a lot of you guys, but for the number one position I have the Arabian Camel Archer. Now this unit is just completely broken. Why is this broken? Well, it's kind of like the Keshek, but it's a lot stronger than the Keshek in comma strength. And it's basically broken because cities can't run. It's the simple explanation of it. It's just so powerful, it one-shots everything, it's like a crossbowman but stronger and then it's also faster, I don't know how to explain it. If you want an easy victory on Deity with Domination, I would recommend playing as Arabia and spamming a lot of Camel Archers. It's the easiest way to do it I would argue, and yeah, just try it yourself, it's a lot of fun to play with Camel Archers because they're so powerful, and it's a good way to learn as well I would say, so try it out. Anyways, I think this was it for my list. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, please leave a like, comment what you want to see next, subscribe and turn the not notification bell on, otherwise you probably won't notice my videos. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.